Hey guys, how are you today? Today I'm going to be doing products that surprised me. And this could be products that surprised me in a good way or products that surprised me in a bad way. But basically I just wanted to sit down and talk about products that maybe I had an idea of how I would feel about them before I even tried them based on someone else's review or based on what I saw in the picture of the product, something like that. And then I changed my mind once I actually tried the product out for myself. So anyway, if you guys are excited for products that surprised me, definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. And then let me know down in the comments below products that you have tried that surprised you, good or bad. All right, let's get to it. The first product I want to talk about today is basically the reason that I wanted to do this video, and that is the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. It's one that I saw a lot of people using on Instagram, and I assumed that they were just using it because everyone else was using it or because Farsali is a brand that tends to shout people out on Instagram. I didn't think it could actually be worth the $65 price tag. I didn't think I would like it at all, you guys. I've tried oils in the past. I tried the Smashbox Primer Oil and hated it. And so I thought this would be sort of the same thing, but somehow it's not. Somehow it works so much better for me. If you have really dry skin like I do, it is super, super, super hydrating on my skin. My skin this winter has not felt that like painful tightness that I usually feel during the winter time. Now it's still dry. I still need to continue using oils and moisturizers and different things, but I don't have that painful dry feeling, which this is the first time in years that I haven't felt that. And I really do credit it to this oil. So that is one that surprised me in a really great way. Actually, it might be kind of sad because now I have to go spend the $65 all over again as soon as I run out. So that's kind of a bummer. Okay, the next product is actually a lot more affordable and it's an e.l.f. sponge. Now this one actually came in a two set duo thing. <laughs> and one was a silicone sponge and one was this one. And this is one that they actually sent to me in a PR package and I would, honestly would never have bought this with my own money. And let me tell you why. Because the sponge is completely filled with little bits of glitter. And so I saw this sponge and I was like, Ugh, why would anyone put that on their face? Because then you're gonna have little bits of glitter all over your face. And I didn't think I would like that. And another thing is I've tried sponges from e.l.f. before and they weren't the softest sponges. So I didn't think this one would be super soft and nice either. Well, I was wrong. First of all, the glitter bits don't transfer onto your face at all. Somehow they just stay on the sponge. I've never had a bit of glitter get on my face because of the sponge and I've been using it for like, a month and it's a lot nicer softer spongier <laughs> than I was thinking it was going to be so if you guys can see how nice and spongy that is it seriously feels just as nice as my beauty blender just as nice as my real technique sponge that I love and I've actually been using this one a lot I just hate to have to buy this one in the set each time so that's kind of the only bummer with it. Let's do one that wasn't so great, and that's the Tarte Tartise Mascara. Now this is one that I've seen people use uh, in videos, and I feel like their lashes always look so beautiful when they use this mascara. I used it and uh, I had like three eyelashes <laughs> when I was done with it. And I have actually used it a few more times thinking maybe I did something wrong. I only have like three eyelashes when I use this mascara. So let me go ahead and show you guys the wand real quick. It's one of those that's very sort of spiky. So it's not comfortable to use either, but overall my lashes just didn't look good. I don't know how other people got such great results in their videos. I really thought that this was gonna be a nice voluminous uh, long lash mascara. I really thought my lashes were gonna look fabulous and they didn't. So I was very not Pleasantly surprised, unpleasantly surprised with that one. Okay, did you just notice a palette disappear behind me with editing? <laughs> um, the next one I'm gonna be talking about is the Chocolate Bar Palette. So this is actually one that surprised me in a bad way. A lot of people love this palette. I actually don't think I've ever heard anyone say anything negative about this palette. <sighs> I thought I was gonna love it. I bought this thinking it would be my Holy Grail neutral palette because if you look, it does have a lot of really neutral shades. The sh shadows to me are just a little bit too similar. I feel like when I put them on my lid, the browns, they all just kind of look like the same shade. I don't get a lot of color variation from it. So that's my issue with the neutrals. And then I feel like the shimmers aren't even that shimmery. They're just kind of like a dull shimmer, which I don't like. And then 
the little little bits of color that you do get in here like this green this purple this pink they're just sort of like again dull like they're not it's not like a nice bright pink it's not like a nice bright purple they just look when you put them on your lid again everything just sort of blends together this purple and this green when I put them on my lid just look brown on my lid so I'm basically just getting a palette here that's a bunch of different shades of brown that when I put them on my lid look the same <laughs> so I do not like this palette I thought I would love it because everyone else does and I was super, super underwhelmed. For the money that you're spending on this, there are better palettes that you can get where you can get better color variation, a nicer, softer, smoother formula. Okay, that was a lot of bad talk. <laughs> Let's talk about another product that surprised me in a good way. So the next product that surprised me in a really great way, and I feel like this is the standout product of 2017 and a game changer as far as uh, liquid eyeshadows go and that's the Stila Glitter and Glow liquid eyeshadow. You guys, these are worth every single penny. <laughs> I didn't think they were going to be worth it. I heard some people saying that they had a lot of glitter fallout or a lot of creasing with these and so I thought okay that sounds like it's going to be just like every other uh, liquid shadow that I've ever tried. They crease really bad on me usually because I have such small lid space and I do have a little bit of a hooded eye. Not super hooded but a little bit. And so liquid shadows have never, ever worked for me. So I was super hesitant to try this, but then I saw some pictures that did look really beautiful and I wanted a nice pretty glitter shadow. So I was like, okay, let me just try these and see if they're any good. They're so, so stunning. Look at that shadow. It is absolutely beautiful. I wore, I wore this one, this shade in particular on New Year's Eve. And I put it on at like 10 o'clock in the morning, had it on until midnight that night, and it looked exactly the same at midnight as it did at 10 a.m. I think the key is to not blend after you apply the shadow to not get that glitter fallout, but I don't know if that's what other people are doing. I just feel like that's what worked for me. But this is one that I really, because of my previous experience with liquid shadows, I thought I would hate and I really do feel like this is the standout product of 2017. I think it's fantastic. All right, so those are some products that recently have surprised me in a good way or in a bad way. Let me know your product surprises down below. And if you guys wanna see videos like this again, definitely let me know down below as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.